Hi, it's Jake from Dive Extras, and today I'll be showing you not only how to upgrade your Blacktips firmware, but also how to fine tune your scooter's internal settings to best fit your needs. So let's just jump right into it. First of all, the Blacktip is accessed via an open source software known as VESC Tool. You can find this software at vescproject.com or by following the link in the description. We recommend purchasing the silver tier option to help support the software and its future development. Note that this software is compatible with Microsoft Windows PCs only. A Windows emulator may run it on Mac computers, but we haven't yet verified this for ourselves. Now that you've gotten the VESC tool downloaded, make sure you have the latest Blacktip firmware version downloaded to the same computer as well. This can be found on our website, divextras.com, which I'll link to in the description as well. So now that you've got everything downloaded, you should be seeing a firmware file that looks something like this. Now we get to the fun part. First, open the VESC tool program. You may see a pop-up warning from your computer, which you can safely dismiss by selecting more info then clicking run anyway. So now that we've gotten VESC tool running, install your Blacktip's batteries and connect the Blacktip to your computer using the USB port located in the tail unit. A USB extension cable will be useful for this. Next, click the connect button in the top right corner of your VESC tool window to connect to your Blacktip. Another pop-up warning may appear at this point, but you can safely ignore this. After a connection has been established, you should see a confirmation text appear in the bottom right corner. Then, navigate to the left side of the window, click on the Firmware tab, and select the Custom File Folder tab. Using the Browse button to the right, find and select your new firmware in the Pop-up File Explorer window. Once you've selected the latest file, hit the Upload button to install the new firmware onto your scooter. You may run into another pop-up, but feel free to dismiss this by clicking Yes. After the install process finishes, your Blacktip's firmware update is complete. Follow the next pop-up guidelines by waiting at least 10 seconds before activating your scooter. It may disconnect when this process is finalized. No need to worry about that. Simply reconnect manually to the scooter if it hasn't automatically done so already. Thanks for watching. If any questions arise that haven't been answered in this video, check the comment section below this video for additional information or updates. Happy diving.